Hello guys, this is Olaf again. So today I want to share with you information about Bitcoin and how I see it and how I set up my mining at home. I'm using two different approaches. One is to mine with uh, USB ASICs and the other one is actually to get more serious stuff which is Antminer, which I recently got as well and set it up and it's working pretty well right now and getting me some Bitcoins. So without further ado, let's go into it and dive into the details. Okay, so this is a series of three videos. First video we're going to talk about hardware, I'm going to show you my hardware setup, what are the requirements to the power and how to set it up in the correct way. In the second video I plan to show you my software setup, what kind of settings you would need for CG Miner to get these things optimized and work in full blast for you and get more coins. And also we're going to talk about setup for Antminer. And the video number three is expected to show some cloud mining setups which I have, what to look for when you're going to define your investment strategy and what things I use to actually get into this market and get my setup on the investments and what coins I choose and why. So, so Bitcoin is a buzzword right now, especially after the tremendous increase of the Bitcoin price end of December last year. And I think right now it's picking up again. It was really dropping down to like 50,000 and even below. The same was true for Ethereum and Litecoin is way down as well. But now things are picking up again and Bitcoin price is going up. Ethereum is over thousand dollars today. So it's a good time right now to actually start thinking about how to get yourself some cryptocurrency because this is not going anywhere. It's going to stay and it's just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and faster and more convenient than Visa and MasterCard and all other kind of payments as we know it. So it's kind of revolution in digital currency right now. And if you want to be part of it, then this video is for you and I hope you enjoy it. This is my first uh, Bitcoin mine setup. So these are nine bit fury one chips which are USB based uh, which are basically just USB sticks you stick them up to the uh, powered USB hub and those will go uh, the giga hash on that is 2.0 2.5 up to 2.5 but uh, these are very old and they're not pretty stable so you will see later in CG miner that those got tons of hardware errors speed out every time we do some but uh, they still work and the most important part of that setup is the USB hub. Uh, you have to get pretty good USB hub with a good power supply, at least 60 watt on the power supply, so it will support stable power to the ASICs. Otherwise, uh, the hash rate will jump up and down and they got confused and they basically give you a zombie message on the CG miner instead of actually working for you without you actually babysitting those. So I got um, Anker uh, USB hubs. Those are two and you definitely need a power fan. So I'm using one of the ports on uh, USB hub which is power port and those will actually cool some of these ASICs otherwise we can get pretty hot and uh, this will impact the actual giga hash performance on those as well. Another relatively new setup which I got is uh, Gecko miners. Those are capable of driving up to 15 plus gigahash per second each. So if you compare to previous Bitfury setups, uh, two of those will cover like 10 of Bitfury setups easily. And again, the, uh, using, uh, I'm using here the USB hub, which is Anchor as well. This is USB free hub, but uh, it's got three intellectual power connectors as well, so you can connect the fan without impacting the performance of the USB hub. And this is also powered. And those, I just got two of this. We might get more, uh, but space-wise, I'm probably gonna fit maybe five of this into these hub tops. Um, as you can see on Bitfury side, you cannot use every slot on Anchor, at least on Anchor hub because they will not fit physically. But uh, if you got different hub, uh, just make sure it is a good solid performer on the hub manufacturer on the USB 
so it will not uh, create a problem for you because I was using some of the different USB hubs and I was wondering why the giga hash rate jumping up and down and ASICs turned off randomly and it turned out to be that the power of that hub was not sufficient and the hub basically was not stable so uh, for Gecko miners this is specifically important to get correct power and um, pretty solid power wattage on the support and power supply for your USB hub and definitely get the coolant stuff uh, even though you notice that this is USB 3 I connect them to USB 2 actually most of the ASIC manufacturers recommend you connect those not to USB 3 but to USB 2 uh, and I, I was trying to connect to USB 3 hoping it will go faster but it's in fact created more issues instead and the giga hash rate was jumping up and down on those as well so I have to regroup and connect them to USB 2 and now these two are solid performers and I overclock them a bit because I have active, active cooling on those and these are more or less solid performers as well uh -huh. sorry for the noise in case you are really serious about mining you'd better get something like this this is Antminer S7 and there is a new one which is S9 even more powerful this is capable of driving 4.7 terahash and definitely a good performer everything below that will not actually pay back everything above will definitely gonna get you some money and you will be in plus instead of just paying for, paying for the power because this is using two power supplies uh, these are DPS um, 1200 both and they got uh, PCI Express cards on top of those with wattage indicators I will link all the information about these uh, supplies down in the links uh, below the actual video and I'm using this because I have to connect two of those because I don't have 220 I only have uh, 110 and this is why it is connected like that as you can see it's and here this is very noisy and the heat is going like it's heating up the air behind uh, because of the fan and it has to cool itself otherwise it will overheat so if you plan to get something like this make sure you get a proper spacing for it I'm installing this in the cold room in the basement so this is where you can get it uh, so it's isolated from noise and it's getting pretty cool if you have actually exhaust going outside then you can connect the pipe here to the back and get it all the way to the outside so all the cool air will stay here and all the hot air will go outside for winter is okay for now uh, for summer I will have to do something about it because in summer this cold room is not gonna get that cold and I'll have to do something about it okay guys so that's it for episode 1 uh, thank you for watching it to the end and thanks for watching this video if you like it give us thumbs up uh, like this video, share it with your friends and stay tuned for the next video where I'm going to explain to you what kind of settings I'm using in CG Minor to power this Beat Fury and Gecko and uh, also settings on Ant Miner and how to then monitor it on a pool on the internet so you're getting actual correct hash rate as expected so stay tuned for that video, I'm going to link it in the description down below as soon as that video will become available and then you're gonna cross-reference these videos back and forth between 1, 2 and 3 and then you can watch the whole series. Until then, peace!